All right, so the tiger motor, remember these uh, rocker boxes were all damaged from the, the push rods not being seated on these balls properly. So I went in there and gouged it. I also found later that these actually have cracks right here where they mount and tighten down to the to the um, the head itself. So we had to get different box rocker box covers here. Um, we want to keep the 71 style, so we were looking for 71s only, you know, and you know, early 72s might have had this as well. But anyways, we came across a a, a nice set. Um, at a swap meet that was going on earlier this spring. Uh, anyways, uh, this set here that we got didn't have any damage in there uh, that we could tell anyway. Um, then the, these parts here where it tightens down to the head bolts to the head, they're not cracked. So what we'll do is we'll be cleaning this one up. Somebody messed. But this other one that came with the set we got, somebody had the same problem we had. <laughs> the push rod was not engaged the ball here it was on the tip of this rocker here but it didn't gouge the the cover so what we're on both of them and they're not cracked like mine are so what we'll do is we'll just pull these apart clean it up put new uh components in here swap out the the good uh rockers if i if i have a good set and they were actual 71s. They had, the, they had that adjustment plug here on the side for the, for the valve adjusting. So, all right, so now we have a good rocker cover here, rocker box cover. Um, what we did was just drive the, the shaft out and of course the rockers here. Uh, there was a time when some of these springs and flat these washers and stuff weren't even weren't really put in the proper way or they were the proper way and someone else didn't like it because i think it was what bsa later yep. so bsa later told them how to assemble this stuff and uh out of either spite or their own engineers triumph decided to do it their way yet and it's been kind of controversy whether the stuff went together their proper way or not so um, we're going to try to like put it together the, the way the book shows, if that's correct, I think. Is that what it is? The yep. book's right? Yep, parts book illustration show it correctly. Okay, so the parts book illustration shows it correctly, and sometimes when you take these apart... What it amounts to... Yeah. What it amounts to is the earlier ones, pre-71, didn't have this notch here, and instead... This was drilled, okay. and this was drilled for a, for oiling, and there was holes, a groove inside of here that followed up to, to lubricate this, and this was was grooved, and a hole was out in here to it lube the top of this. So this was smooth. So then the then what happened then in them days, the thack they called this a thackery washer this laid up against here then this shim laid up against the aluminum housing and then they put a shim over here next to the center of the aluminum housing and so that's how it would that's how it would work so in 71 they decided to save money and not drill these rocker arms no more and instead put an oiling groove here and an oiling groove here. Now the inside oiling groove worked pretty good and that lubed your push rods so they didn't have any problem. The trouble is and you can tell that this one gotten dark over here. See there? That's because it was getting hot and the reason for it is they put it together the old way. They put the Thackeray washer here, washer against the case. Then what happened is as it run this washer fouled the oil hole like that, thereby starving the rocker from the adjuster and the valve from getting oil. And so it, this factory washer would just 
follow along with this groove and the oil would just kind of like dribble out of here instead of like what it was designed to do is create a squirting hole and it would actually squirt as pressure was fed to it. It can't do that. So how the book shows it is the washer goes here and creates an oil squirting hole. Then the Thackeray washer and the Thackeray washer goes up against the rocker box. Now some people think that the rocker box now will wear but it doesn't. It just sits there and it turns on this washer back and forth and the Thackeray washer just sits still. It's like bites into it but it doesn't wear it. That's how it should be assembled. It should be assembled like that and there's a oil hole in a, in a spot in here and it allows it to go like this and it can just squirt oil out all over the place. So that's how we're going to assemble it. <laughs> Which by the way this one was wrong. <clears throat> and if you look real close here, the uh, Thackeray washer is, the washer is in here, Thackeray washer is next to, to this. <clears throat> okay, so what we were talking about just a minute ago was the fact that these this stuff was all laid out wrong. So this is a this is a shop manual here, and this has got it wrong. It's showing the Thackeray washer or the spring washer. Uh, the British call it Thackeray, but for America here, we'll call it a spring washer. And then it shows that flat washer out here. Well, technically, like. Like we were saying, though, the, the flat washer goes over here and creates that jet, that o opening there, for, so it would spray. Like on this original parts print here, 1971 motors, this is showing the spring washer on the outside, like we were saying, and the flat washer towards the rocker. And then the flat washer on the other side of the rocker. This is the correct, and then this one over here too as well. Full There's your exhaust side, and actually this is the intake side. So this is the intake side, and it shows the same setup. And our exhaust side, just like that. So on this rocker box, it came off the bike, it's set up wrong. So you'll see down in here, that Thackeray washer, or that spring washer, is blocking the oiling groove there. When, it, when that tail went into that, that slotted area there and the flat washers on the outside. So if this was ever a part, which it might not have been, they put it back together wrong. Or if this is original, because of what happened in 71, it was set up wrong to begin with. And like we were saying, it'll, dis, it'll, it'll heat up and discolor because there ain't oil properly happening. So, just wanted to clarify that just a little bit there. So, we're going to focus on taking the rest of these apart here, recovering some good parts here, clean up the clean up these rocker boxes and get them ready for assembly. So, and in order to do this properly, you got to discard the one shim with the small hole and you have to add another one with the large hole. So we're getting rid of the we're getting rid of this one, right? And replace them with two of these. Because yes, because see, it has to go like this. It has to go flat washer, rocker, oops, this one, rocker, and then it's got to have a washer like this. Yeah, the one that fits over it. And then this, this goes up against. The small hole in the casting. So then that small hole yeah. washer here is well, irrelevant. Well, then we got to put this here. So then it goes like this and it creates that. Now, if we did it to the original way, like it was a factory done, which is 1970 and earlier, this went in here up against the shoulder. So it goes like this. All this is, is this is a 1970 and earlier part number. They kept constructing them the same way because they didn't realize that that would add a difference. So what we have to do is we have to discard this, get another one of these, put this on first, 
then this, and then assemble it into the, into the case. This one just gets eliminated. So this was assembled wrong because it has the wrong wash. Right. So anyway, we'll uh, clean these up and then we'll go back over that again as we go to put it back together. So. All right. So here we go. We are getting ready to put these rocker boxes back together now. So these are the the different rocker boxes that aren't damaged. Remember seeing just a little bit ago that uh, we have some damaged ones here, and then but these are good to go. These aren't cracked down there or anything that we could see, and they're not all galled up from being derailed and plowed into the rocker box itself of the push rods that we had originally in this bike. So we're ready to put this stuff back the way it should be. That way it works properly. So here we go, I guess. four of these. So we'll select four for whatever reason. Okay, so we'll use, I think we'll use these. Uh, this yeah. yeah, okay. All right, so here we go, rocker boxes. Um, these are not identical, of course, because there's a bridge piece that goes on the one end that has the, um, the oiler in it. So, see the difference here? We got this side looks like this, and then this other side looks like this. So we cannot, you know, interchange them. But anyway, we're going to get started here. We got the, the parts book out laid out right here, so we kind of can reference it as well as show you how this is going together. So, okay. anyway, let's go ahead. We're gonna, we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this, and we got to make sure we put these in the right locations. This one goes over here. This one goes over here and so first of all we gotta have this go no first of all we gotta go in this way and then we're gonna go like this and your what's he got there the daiquiri washer yep daiquiri then a, a regular washer or whatever, shim, or smooth. It's going to be kind of tough. What's this one? i got to get this down in here. Starting to remember what you gotta do here. You gotta put the open part of the factory up so you can pinch it. Otherwise, it falls inside. Okay, so factory up, washer up. Maybe I'll come over there and look at stuff. It'll be easier. Still doing it. 
wants to go on the other side of the factory. Okay. It's got to go like this. What I'll do is push the washer in later. As long as I got the, this part up. It's not easy. laying up against it. Now I gotta work the washer in there. Make sure the bolt ain't in too far. <laughs> it's a bugger. It's it's like it's not meant to do. screwdriver. Hand me that little screwdriver right there. I gotta be able to push this over. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now, though, I'm not done yet. Now I got to put a washer in between here. Oh yeah, between the yeah the block and the of the uh, rocker box and the aluminum. Yeah, rocker and the aluminum there. There we go. Got that one. That was easy enough. Well, yeah. <clears throat> That's a simple one. Wait till we get to the other end. Now I got to put another washer. Just one. Yeah, now we're doing the opposite. This one. I think we did the hardest already. There we go. Find out. Get that washer. Yeah, it is. Okay, got it right there. Don't move, right? <laughs> yeah, so what's going what's going on is it's catching on all these little indents here. 
as he's pushing it through. And you gotta pull it in and out of them. The low and the high spots. Yeah, the low and high spots. It's so important not to put the Thackeray next to this because you got these grooves. And what the factory did, they messed it up when they first did it. <clears throat> they put the washer on the wrong side. Then what happens is this, it, it starts working and back and forth running. And then all of a sudden it catches to here and it spoils the spray to there. And it's like that on both sides. And the Thackeray gets caught in there. And then after that, it don't. It don't spray correctly and so what's really supposed to happen is supposed to be a flat washer there so it creates a nice little spray channel then the Thackeray and just to hold pressure that's how it's supposed to be and that's the way we're assembling it <clears throat> so so here we go now we got to fight this one but sometimes the last one is the easiest because just gotta work it in there like that. It's starting to come through, but I gotta work it. See, it's not quite lined up where it needs to be. There it goes. Oh, there we went. Okay, so there we got it. So, this is how it's supposed to be. Thackeray, washer, 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 Thackeray. Now we got to put an O-ring on here. We got a few of them over here in case we damage them. And sometimes they do because you got a tool here that goes on that protects it, but you still got to you still got to press it in there and this is such a tight fit. So, so, <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that next year. A little loop helps. Just don't want to go in through there, but it's got to. Press that o ring in with my fingernail if I have to. Well, if I can gently, I can pull this out as long as we don't disturb nothing. Yeah. Everything's being held in by pressure with those Thackeray washers and stuff, so. And I can do this. Okay. In fact, I can put a little loop on some of this stuff because until oil gets there. Otherwise, we're going to be running this thing dry for a while. Yeah, we don't want that, so. I just put a little loop on it. We don't need it in the low spots. Probably get there, but. There we go. Okay. Now I got to wipe my fingers.
Now what we need to do. Yeah, we've got to pull it through with. We're going to tighten it through. Yeah, I'll tighten that. Bunch of these washers come in real handy for this. I gotta get a wrench for that. All right. Now it's important that you hold this up solid because it's got to squeeze that O-ring into place. As you're yeah, as you're pulling that shaft across. Yep. And we're going to make sure that the shaft isn't turning now, too. And it's not. So, okay, so now we want to press down as hard as we can. success all right all right well we got to get this to a whole other one yet so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get ready to put these on the head so um now that you've seen how this one went together it's the same way with the other one mm -hmm. all right so we got the we got this all this is the first one we did and we just got that one finished up over there and uh i didn't like video record that one because it's just exactly like this one was um when you go to put this together you want to check for that o-ring make sure it doesn't cut or or shave off any we lucked out on this one and that one without having any problems and the arrangement you want to make sure this is all arranged proper there and, and lined up and like we were talking uh we already went through this a few times and, and the order it goes so i'm not going to go through it again but you just want to make sure that the it's centered and not like gets caught or cut through there when you're pushing it through do it according to the parts book, not yeah. the workshop manual. So yeah, you got to do this according to the parts book. The workshop manual is not correct. So anyway, I think we uh, went over that enough. So we're gonna get ready to go put this on the on the motor now. Hard to do. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put the rock boxes on, starting with the rear, because you just kind of have to because. It, it get in the way of the front one. So, well, first thing we gotta line up the the rockers with the push rods. Yeah, they're kind of tough. These screws don't want to go. there but I can't tell if this one is this is hard because you can't see in there gotta have a gotta have a light sometimes you can see back there yeah it's lifting Okay, it's lifting the it's lifting the push rod. About halfway through the year of seventy two they decided to change this up this rocker box to the, the big oval type. Which is nice because you can see back there. Yes, and it actually it was an improvement in a way. 
I think these look neater, but uh, there's an improvement because you could actually see the hole inside of the rocker box and for situations like this and make sure you had positive connection there with your push rods. Try it. Yeah, so when we go to adjust these later here in a little while, we'll know if we're engaged or not because we'll either have an excessive amount of adjustment on one and or the other, yeah. then we'd be able to tell then if we're out of adjustment or if it's not hooked up right. Unlike the people before me with this bike, they, they just ran them in. They ran them in, and we had. I remember seeing one of the adjusters was way out, so they tried to get it on there, and it wasn't. So. So now we're going to just, we got this one down, so now we can get ready to put this together. Let's see if I can get it. <laughs> Tiger's hard. Where'd you get that? <laughs> I can see that. I shouldn't have put the manifold on yet. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. I can get it. All right. Well, then we'll uh, finish putting these nuts on here, and then we're going to do the front one. All right, we're gonna put the front rocker box screws in here. They got a little washer, of course. Line them up and run them in. That's your wrench, not Then we got our our two bigger bolts. We're gonna be putting into. Hopefully we can get those in. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah. Now these, they have like a little stepped area. So the bolt is smaller than the hole, of course. And uh, the stepped area actually goes, engages into that bigger hole and locks it that way. going to tighten this stuff all up and then we'll move on to the front one yeah so going forward here with the front we have the front two push rods we got them parallel from each other flush with each other pretty much nice starting point so that means when we go to put the rocker box on we're going to want them the same as well we don't want them like this and we don't want them like that we want them like this so they come down straight down on them okay and then so like, we want to level them. If this, if if you want to call that level, I you follow what I mean. This flat part where the ball is at, you don't want it to look like angled like this way, or angled that way. Oh yeah, sure. I see what you're well, saying. I, want it, I think we can see that. I want it level. Or I'll, you know, level that way you're kind of can tell when you go to put it on. You can tell that you're when I put this down rod. now. It's going to come down straight onto these. It should go right into the cups. Right. Well, we have to have faith that it's gonna. <laughs> I mean, sounds like it should. And I push them up. So you push up the, no, the actual gonna... rocker and engage them into the push rod like we did the rear one, so. Yeah, it should. It should have went. So now we do the same thing. We put the hardware on, hold it on, so. All right, so we don't have an intake manifold on this side to get in our way, so it should go together pretty easy up here, I think. Uh, just gonna put the washer and a nut on there. There we go. Do the outer one. All right, so yeah, I got the curved edge going out towards the nut, and then the nut. Okay. 
there we go and then we'll move on to putting in these bolts and then these bolts just like we did in the rear so we're just about done with this segment here all right so we're gonna put in these and then after we get all these bolts and stuff all tightened down we're gonna go over this tightening them all down these actually get a foot pound setting here I believe and then we'll probably do really can't get on this stuff with the socket on some of these nuts and stuff so we guys have to tighten them up this would these little quarter inch nuts and stuff would probably be inch pounds anyway so um, I think we can tell how to tighten them down using our judgment you know so the same with these uh, top ones here. I'll look through the book, but I don't remember seeing on these ones. I know I saw this one. It was like 10 foot pounds. So. I think the quarter inch bolts. Yeah, the quarter inch seven. bolts. Seven? I think there's seven or eight. So maybe seven. Look, yeah, but I'm going to verify. But, yeah. So, but anyways, uh, then going on from this, coming up here in a few more clips, we will be going over setting the, setting the um, clearance here between the, the valves and the valve clearance, you know, the, the between the, the rocker adjustment here on top and the and the valve, and then we'll we'll put the head steady on and mount that all down. And I think that'll and we probably uh, hook, we'll probably put the acorn nuts on here and for now because we have to run the oil line and all that stuff that'll be coming up later, and then we'll put the caps on once we have it all the valve clearance done. All right, so I was digging through the book again and found a nice little note in bold bold writing talking about these four bolts here. Now, I said it before that we had to torque these main bolts to go into the head at um, 18 foot-pounds. And right, so then this note says, it's important that these four central rocker box bolts are tightened to the correct torque setting, which is, fifth, which is uh, 10 in the front here. So... These four, yeah, these four here, yeah, these four here. I'll just look down there for a second. So these four here are 10 foot-pounds. So we're going to do them, but then will be the last ones we do on the rocker boxes, I believe, what we decided. But anyways, it says that you want to make sure you do that because what you do is you take, like we said before, we take torque away from the main head bolt. And then if we do them, torque them to the right spec, like somebody did before us. They over torqued these on the last on my last rock when they had us apart, and they end up cracking the aluminum housings here on the rocker boxes. So then also when you go to remove these, you have a heck of a time because it's wanting to pull out the other bolt as well at the same time. They yeah. So later down the road, like we said, when we get this thing running and warmed up through a couple heat cycles. We'll revisit this. We'll take these off, and we'll retorque these. Retorque all the heads. All the head bolts. Yeah. But then, like we showed before, we have a special tool where we can pop these out and go in here and get to these without having to remove all this stuff. <laughs> so it was a good idea by the by the Triumph Corporation to do this. But uh, anyway, but the, the real thing is, is the 72 bolts that are in there. They're special, so we can get in there with a real tool and tighten them down. Unlike the 71 bolts that were originally supposed to be in there. So, and then we found, I found also that the torque spec for these quarter inch bolts are five foot pounds, including the nuts. So we're going to do this all right. So anyway. All right. So here we go. We're going to torque this down. Of course, we can't get to this. We have to use this, uh, this dog bone here again. The front one we'll be able to get to, but... Got it? There you go. There we go. 10 foot pounds. We'll just use it because you already have it hooked up, I guess. I'm going to use them because that way they're all the same. Yeah, because it might, yeah, whatever. Might throw a different spec somehow. <laughs> if you change the. Maybe it's, maybe it's 11 foot pounds or 8. All right, yeah. now we'll do the quarter inch bolts. All right, so we're gonna use a inch pound torque wrench. So we take five foot pounds times 12 inches. That gives us 60 inch pounds. 
So I guess that one doesn't fit on there very well. It should. All right, well, I'm having an extra time with that one over there. So, so anyway, let's, there's, it just clicked. So yep. that is five foot pounds there. That one, it seems like it's. It might be the socket that we're using. I oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. It's already. Yeah, there we go. And then these nuts are kind of hard to get to with or without the intake manifold being on, of course. But uh, we'll probably be able to just use a wrench on these. Kind of know how five foot pounds feels. Yeah. You know, it isn't much of anything, but it's just enough to keep it secure and snug, you know, so. We'll use a wrench on there. But anyway, all right, so we're off to putting the head steady on here and I'll probably doing the adjustment on the valves here in a second. So anyway. There we go. Yeah. We're getting ready to do some valve adjustments here. Right now we got the exhaust we're working on, and this is a four thousandths clearance, and intakes are two thousandths clearance. So so slide it right in there. Yeah, so the nice thing about 71s, is we got this nice, nice, nice little window right here we can use to get to that. Otherwise you had to bend them and slide them, and it gave you a false reading. Right there is where I want it. So right now when we have, how we do the adjustment is we have one down and on the opposite side so the one over here is down and this one's at the top good enough there it is yeah so just like that pretty much i guess <laughs> okay now <clears throat> we do one side at a time so now we're going to rotate the engine and then I uh, just feel for this one to go down, and this one should go all the way up. All right, so we'll go and do that one now. Yeah, so same thing. We can put our special uh, adjustment tool on here, and then hooked on that with the wrench there. And then we use that tool there on top to tighten the actual... Yeah, that tool's got a square end in it. Yeah, it fits right on that tappet piece there. That, uh... Yeah, just like that. And I hold it. And tighten down the jam nut. All right. Now it's ready for the caps. All right, cool. Now we're off of intakes. That's going to be two thousands. Yeah. So we're rotated again. there if I can get it to stay there. Oh, you bugger. It turned on me. No, it did. It did because my finger slipped. <laughs> Talking to myself, I guess. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. Just you're showing how it's how it's not how hard easy. it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's too tight. It's not exactly easy. So well, two thousands is so damn tight. Yeah. 
sometimes you got to just back it off and tighten it up again. There. I feel it move. And I can slide. I think I can just slide it in there. All right. Got it. <laughs> On the other side. It's really tight. Hear it? Yeah. It sounds a lot different than the front one did. So, all right. On the other side now. I did. <laughs> this, one, this one right right together <laughs> within, a, within a minute. <laughs> so let's see, maybe. Yeah, maybe, huh? Is it struggled on the other one a little bit? Yeah. Cool. Okay. All yeah. right. So now we'll put the, the oil on. oil feed on here. Yeah, we'll put the caps on these things and. Just make sure the copper washer gets put on there. Special, uh, looks like a spark plug uh, compression ring, but um, works the same way. Yeah, it does. It's got a lot. There's a smaller edge, and then there's a. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a smaller one and a larger one. The larger one goes towards the the rocket box, and then the shorter one goes towards the the cap, and then just goes right in there. And then we'll put the other ones on, and then since how we're done in here, we can put these on too. So they get a special, like, uh, actual gasket, looks like fiber. this, fiber one, and uh, like that. So we're rolling them on. Gotta make sure we. Yeah, there we go. Might have to take a screwdriver and lift that out gently. Yeah, so I have to lift these up so that <clears throat> I actually can get onto it right. Them. I got a screwdriver right here. All right, so I'll slide it underneath there like that, and then he'll run that in. All right, that's good. I can let go. And then this thing actually clicks in these little knurling right here. It actually holds it still. So you don't have to get on there with the screwdriver on these parts and tighten the heck out of it or there's a special tool that actually fits into these but I got one. And we got one but it, and it also goes into the one on the oil oil cap here as well but um you don't need to get go to town on it well, we don't want to lose them <laughs> we don't want to lose them either though yeah that's a good point so we'll just make sure they're snug i'm gonna put this back one on here Yeah, same thing. Can you get that up? There it is. Yeah, already got that's it. why. <laughs> that's yeah, why. It, that's yeah. yeah that's why it, it needs to be lifted because this one's actually going in hard. Something wrong. Oh, that's okay. We'll tighten it up. All right, we'll get to that in a minute here. But finish up buttoning up a couple of things here, and we'll be done with this. There's a special tool. I'm gonna tighten it up the rest of the way. Yeah, the problem with using a screwdriver on these, you can, they don't, you can't have to find one that actually fits that, which is really difficult. You never will. And you never will. <laughs> and what will happen is you'll use the wrong one and you'll damage the, you'll damage it. Take away, you know, the looks of it by damaging it. So, anyway. All right, so now we'll put in the, the oil line here that comes in the top. The rocker box feed line. So put the copper washers on here, of course. We have some decent original ones that are not all messed up, so we're gonna reuse those. 
and then put the line on and then the outer it gets two sets it gets set on the inside and the outside and then a couple nice chrome acorn nuts go on the outside here Tighten that down. Got to be careful when you get them too tight, they'll bend these. Yeah, we don't want to. Got to remember this is like copper line. It, you don't have to kill it. Right. <laughs> so I'm surprised this is actually, this is actually originally from this bike, so I'm surprised it's not they destroyed. Know, the hell. <laughs> yeah. Like everything else was on here, I'm surprised this doesn't look like a pretzel. <laughs> so anyway. And, uh, all right. You know, well, uh, look how nice that looks. Yeah, here we go. There's our motor. Head steady and we're pretty much here. done. We're gonna run the plugs in here. We can do that. We can do gap check. But usually when these when you buy these brand new, they're already gapped and everything. But what does uh, the spark plug gap tell you? But um, I'd have to look it up. I don't see it here offhand. It should be in here. But but usually yeah, the, the gap on between the electrode and the resistor so spark plug type gap setting 25 so yeah we'll check that quick just because well there's 24 and it, it's a little loose so yeah, I think it's close enough yeah, it's a little loose yeah close enough all right all right anyway we are pretty much got this all buttoned up hope you enjoyed all this uh we're going to do one more thing before you finish up here totally but uh we're going to put the head steady on of course like i've been saying so then our motor is ready and our bike's ready for the next few steps spark plug wires and wires put the covers putting on. the carburetor on the covers and on the, the air cleaner and then running the cables to the carb and then we can move on to putting the tank on sometimes. So anyway, let's go put the head steady on. All right, so here we go. We're going to have to like put it up and then angle it. <laughs> All kinds of crazy stuff here. There we go. Got it. Yeah, it goes just like that. And then we're going to we'll put a washer. You know, one of the last parts that we had to repaint it a while back. We should have matching washers. So, so let's so let's go find a washer for yeah, we got some washer. we got some different, better hardware here. Hold on here. So, anyways, uh, so what happens here is we got spacers underneath here to lift it off of the rocker boxes. But this is important. You put them back on or have them, yeah. and then uh, nice big thick ones. These. These get held down with this, like a couple washers there like that, and then a couple nice lock nuts go on there. And we got to put a bolt in there. A bolt in, yeah, holding it to the frame. Yeah, that's fun. So we're going to do that next right now. we got to find a bolt. All right, let's see. Well, well, let's see how this is going to work. Yeah, it's kind of a tight area back there. Yeah, I think. Okay, I got the washer on it. How are we gonna... Oh, I did it. Uh, now the self locking's take kicking in. Okay, now we're gonna put these babies on here. Are those half by sixteen? Yeah, I gotta better do that. 
Well, I got the wrench here. I can kind of like start on, I guess. Yeah, run down. Oh, <laughs> I guess that was short lived. <laughs> Yeah, no, clearance back there. Really like the ratchet wrenches, but they don't work everywhere. I'll tell you that. No. Freaking head gets to be too big and bulky and gets in the way of areas we need to be in. Well, Especially on this bike. We need to. So now we gotta come in. Yeah. To get in there with an open end. Oh no, this is we gotta go a size smaller. Yep, right. So look we'll at the right wrench here and we'll get finished up here. Me too. Here we There we go, pretty now, much. Now I want this good tight. Well, I didn't finish it, I wanted to tighten this first. Right. In the front one here. There it is. Well, there we go, there's pretty much putting the head on, so, and everything else related to it. Motor is now done and installed. So yeah, this bike is actually starting to look like a bike again. It's pretty exciting. So anyway, from what it was to this now, we're looking pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed all this, and now we'll work on doing some more stuff, like like finishing up this area. We got to put the carb on, put the outer covers on, route cables for the throttle, and then, uh, oh yeah, and the choke as well. And that'll be all coming up in the next video. And then we'll work on putting the tank on, so, and make it look like a bike again. So, hope you enjoyed all this, and I'll see you again soon.